What's up, YouTube gamers? Young Soul dropping another video and another case of the blind Xbox fanboys. Um, and what do I mean here? Um, Horizon Zero Dawn versus uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, I'm not giving you my opinion of Mass Effect Andromeda. I haven't played it yet. Obviously, haven't played through. Like nobody has played through enough of it to give an actual opinion. But I have noticed some things leading up to the game as far as Xbox fanboy blindness and a particular type of Xbox fanboy who the the the, the horizon hater. OK, it's the, the the Xbox fanboy who had to bash horizon has been looking for a game to claim uh, to put up against horizon to kind of, you know, throw throw horizon, you know, down a flight of stairs, so to speak, where. Um, if you remember, first they tried to say Zelda, and, and no, no disrespect to Zelda, it got great scores. It, it deserved every score it got, from what I hear. But that was that even with a great score like Zelda, it still didn't drown out Horizon. It still didn't like um, make Horizon irrelevant. They're they're trying to find a game to make Horizon irrelevant, and Zelda kind of overshadowed a little bit but didn't quite overshadow it enough so you see the xbox fanboys and the horizon haters the sony haters move on to mass effect so it was interesting and here's what i call blindness so when horizon zero dawn came out there were a couple problems with the the facial animations particularly during conversations so you talk to to uh npc characters and they look plastic it's plasticky and they look lifeless they kind of like look like they were zombies staring off into space so to speak and i saw a little bit of that i didn't think it was that bad but it is what it is but they made but the the sony haters horizon haters whatever you want to call it um xbox fanboys um, they went after that game like that was because that was really the only technical problem you can find with the game. I mean, the, the frame rate was pretty flawless at 30 frames per second for the most part. The, uh, the graphics look awesome as, as most people already know, but the, there was those couple hiccups and I saw a couple of them. So I'm not going to say they weren't, you know, weren't there. They were there. But they they made it seem the horizon haters so forth. They made it seem like this was un, it was you know took you out of the the game. It made the immersion horrible. This animation, the facial animations, the bad lip syncing, which I saw a couple times where the lip syncing was off. I, you know, so there were legitimate claims, but they were hyping that up to be like it, it made you lose the immersion. I I couldn't really even play the game anymore. Or whatever, whatever, little you know garbage like that. So what they did, what was funny was, they started planting their flagpole in to, to Mass Effect because they were going off, you know, Bioware having a really good, um, you know, really good, you know, lineage, really good history with making Mass Effect to where they were planting their flag in Mass Effect, these Xbox fanboys, the, the Horizon haters, like, this game was going to finally make Horizon be irrelevant. Mass Effect was going to be, which, which, which I always thought was weird because it's a multi-plat game. The game was going to be on PlayStation anyway, so it's not like PlayStation gamers were going to be staring at Xbox gamers play through the whole game, and they were just going to be looking from the outside, fogging up the window, looking out from the outside in. It's like no, PlayStation gamers are. PlayStation gamers are going to be able to play that game too. I never understood the argument, but anyway, they were definitely looking for something to like completely overshadow Horizon to make nobody ever speak Horizon's name ever again, whatever the case may be. And so they started planting their flag in in um, Mass Effect without before they even st before any information really started coming out about it. So what ended up happening was reviewers started getting their hands on the games and they started showing a bunch of different technical problems one of which first of all was the exact same problem horizon had i'm not sure if to a larger scale to a smaller scale or to the exact same scale not sure i'm not sure because i don't have the game so i can't say it's about the same or whatever but there was definitely video clips gifs so forth of you know npc characters having bad lip syncing looking their facial animations looking horrible when they talked there were all that plus here's the key though plus there were animation problems in mass effect that are not in horizon like there's i and i'm gonna 
I'm I'm gonna try not to be lazy and put some links to some of these to to some uh, examples that I show, but there's like animations where they're going up and down stairs where they're looking like they're like like baseball catchers, they're like they're bent at the knee where their their behind is almost touching the ground where they're going up and down the stairs and stuff. And listen, listen, I just want to say for the record, let me take I'm getting this game. Okay, so I but I'm not one of these people who claim that the animations is taking me out of the game I can't play the game anymore. I'm I was never one of those people I'm just pointing out the Xbox fanboys who are blind who now who now have to be blind Have to claim they're not seeing any of these problems. I'm looking at some of their Twitter feeds I'm looking at some of their YouTube videos where they're sitting there saying I hear people saying all these problems But I haven't seen any or I've seen one a one-off here or there what everyone else is showing all of these problems There's like like and and again, I'm I'm gonna put the links to these in, in the description. Hopefully, I remember all of the different links of, of the exact description of the exact examples that I'm giving. Hopefully, I do. But but you know, I I, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to promise that I'll get every one of them. But there was one where the the guy from Venture Beat, from Games Beat, Jeff Grubb, was taking pictures of, of the fact that he was shooting an enemy suspended in mid air. Not because of a power that the guy used, but he's shooting him, and then it takes like, you know, a second and a half, two seconds, a noticeable time frame before the guy actually gets hit by the weapons. It's like really weird, like really weird stuff that you didn't see in Horizon. You know, th those problems were not present in Horizon. And again, I'm not making that to mean that Mass Effect is a bad game by any means, but all I'm saying is... They're sticking their head in the sand trying to pretend that Mass Effect don't have these problems. And that people are just hating just to hate. I've seen that too, by the way. I've seen some of them try to claim that, well, people are just hating. For what? Everybody gets to play this game. It's not an Xbox exclusive. Why would they hate on it? Because, because what? PC gamers get to play it. PlayStation gamers get to play it. Xbox gamers get to play it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, point is... It's like they planted their flag in Mass Effect, and now they have to play defense against the game, against any critiques of the game. Because look at what they did with uh, what what they went after Horizon for is the exact same thing that people are going after this game for, in at a large to a larger extent. So I just want to know if you guys seen any of the glitches. Are you guys buying Mass Effect? I am. Regardless, because I don't, I don't, you know, it doesn't bother me as much. But let me know if you're going to play it. Have you seen some of the glitches? Have you seen any of the fanboys, like, do the double standard tap dance or, or what? Let me know what you think in the comment section, and I'll holler back. Hey.